what's shaking my friends welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do some more spiffo nine first chapter reads i am coming back because i have read 20 additional first chapters or at least sampled some of the books let's just hop right into it out of these 20 books that I read the first chapter of there were only four of them that I really wanted to continue on with first let's talk about Death Disciple by Emma Adams I first of all I love this cover there's a there's a floating skull hello this book had a prologue that hooked me line and sinker to this main character right out of the gate the king has died she is a dragon rider she is a warrior and she has fought for her empire country whatever it is and she is told that they are going to retire the dragon riders and her and her team are going to be placed into retirement and so for her that is a very very sad negative thing and I think what's going to end up happening is she's going to go into retirement and maybe people are going to attack her and try to come after her I don't know but I was really hooked in to this character and definitely, definitely 100% wanted to continue on. There's, I mean, I, th I think it's Dragon Riders as well. So who doesn't love that? Another book that really dragged me into the, the character's story right here at the first is The Untold Prophecy by R.R. R. Hunter. I really like this cover. I'll show you and this one had a mystery element to it trying to figure out what's going on what's going on with this man and his prophecies i think it's going to be about a seer i don't know but i'm interested to figure out the mystery and figure out what is going on he hooked me with the characters without a lot of exposition uh 100 would continue on the next one is fortress of the amulet by michael webb so this is also a pretty gorgeous cover and this prologue was very very brutal grim darky kind of thing brutal fight scene and then we flash forward to 350 years in the future there is a tonal shift i did read some of the first chapter after the prologue so i could know if that tonal shift was going to work with me um and it did and I'm happy to say I want to continue on in this book. There is a powerful amulet. And from what I gather, there is a friend group that is going to go after this amulet. Of course, there's going to be bad guys looking for the amulet as well, I think. So we're going to have this whole whole big, maybe some, some action scenes in there. And I'm looking forward to continuing on with the book. The next one is my favorite first chapter out of all the Spiffbo 9 entrants that I have read so far and that's going to be The Sealed Empire by Norbert and I'm not going to say this name because I don't want to butcher it. We are following this man who is in love with a woman and wants to marry the woman and to do so he of course has to ask her father to let him marry her. So he goes on to this shipping journey and I don't like a lot of shipping stories but this one 100% like didn't bother me at all loved it he goes on this ship to try to also protect her father from this artifact he's trying to deliver transport and while they're transporting said artifact um he they get into some little trouble at sea and i love this battle scene i love the first battle scene i wanted <laughs> I literally had to pry it out of my hands. I wanted to read on it so bad. So 100%, first of all, also this cover, who could not resist? I love it. It was my favorite cover so far. Now, as for why I DNF'd some of the books that I DNF'd, because remember there were 16. Number one, some of them just didn't hook me at all. I was kind of bored when I was reading the first chapter. Number two, maybe the writing was a little bit young for me. The dialogue was cringy, uh, juvenile. Uh, not to say that that's anything bad with that. It's just didn't jive with me. There was another book that had a very cringy sex scene at in the first chapter. And I'm sorry, but I don't like to start out with a sex scene when I don't even really have a grasp on any of the characters yet. So not that I don't like spicy times, but sometimes... I, but not in the first chapter and I need I need some character growth before that happens. Also, I feel like a lot of these books have a lot of exposition which can be overwhelming at times and just 
I'm like get to the point. And then there are a lot of books that just throw everything in the kitchen sink at you all at once. And that's not a good thing to do either because I can't get attached to the characters. I can't get attached to what's happening when you're literally throwing things at me. And so that's the reason why 16 of them I did not continue on with. I'm going to go read some more chapters and come back to you guys and tell you what I have come up with later. But I do want to share with you that I did buy Obsidian Awakening by Sienna Frost. This is a gorgeous, stunning edition. Look at this. Like, it has like some art in the book. I'm just trying to, to show y'all without. Anyway, I love that and I'm so intrigued to read this. <laughs> I cannot wait. So let me go read some more first chapters and I will check in when I get done. And I am going to tell you guys what I'm going to buy at the end of the video. Okay, I'm back and I have read 10 more first chapters of Spiffo books. So at the end of this video, we will have gone through 50 first chapters out of 300. So I'm calling that a win. I will tell you that I don't think I'm being as brutal as most people are doing with these first chapter callings. And that's because I can see potential in the book, even though... It may not drive with me right then or I don't think it's the best thing ever. I'm still seeing potential going forward. And even some of the books that I'm seeing potential in, it doesn't mean like when I read it, I think it's going to be the best thing ever. So we're going to continue on with the next batch of 10. And the first one is Summoning and Sacrifice by Nathan Hartle. I liked the writing style. I like fantasy that starts me out with a mystery because it's something to grasp you in and kind of for you to kind of figure out what's going on and also there was a man with a vicious dog head in this book and I I'm a, color me intrigued on that one the next one is going to be the 11th cycle by Kian Ardalan and I really liked the writing style I also um I read the prologue and half a chapter one because the prologue like was different and a different tone again a tonal shift in chapter one um loved it Again, this had another mystery element to it. And also, I really liked the way that this particular novel was starting to introduce the world to us instead of like info dumping it to us. So this is one that I would definitely continue on with. The next book is A Quiet Vengeance by Tim Hardy. So this one, I was very intrigued in the world. And I know that he's written another series, I think, in the same world. I haven't read it, but I'm also interested in that one. And I think that was a Spiffo finalist one year. I'm not sure which year, but I enjoyed the world building. There was kind of a mystery. I like the way that we are introduced to that main character. Our main character is kind of like, I want to say she's homeless, but she lives with this gang of maybe just bad people. I think overall they're going to be bad people, but I liked the way that it introduced us to our, our characters, especially our main characters. So I would 100% continue on with this book. <laughs> the next one is going to be The Crew by Sadir S. Samir. I think that's how you say it, correct me if I'm wrong, but this one was super humorous and I think I've said a thousand times before, like humor is my jam and I did not expect for people to just be gnawing and eating humans. So <laughs> that was very, very uh, eye-catching to me and maybe want to continue to read it. So, but maybe if that's not for you, don't read it. But I do think that this is going to be very humorous. So if you don't like humor in books, I would stay away. But it seemed to be my kind of humor. And the last one is going to be Forged in the Fallout by Ben Green. I love this cover. This is a YA novel, which I think may not be for everyone, and it's taking place in kind of like our everyday world, which also, I know, will not be for everyone. But I enjoyed the mystery aspect of it, where we have this 14-year-old kid, and he thinks his father is just, he, his father's like only 32, and he has lung issues, and he can't get around, and he's taking care of his dad until, you know, things happen. And he realizes that he, his dad is not who he really thinks that he is, and he is comes from a different place and that's all I'm gonna say that that's what happens and I really thoroughly enjoyed the way that this book's first chapter went I was intrigued now to talk about why I DNF some books out of this batch number one glaring grammar mistakes like I understand you're a self-published book but you can find some beta readers to beta read your novel that will help you 
you know, get through some of those mistakes because at me as a reader, there are some things that I can't get past. There was one book that right in like the second paragraph of the cha the first chapter, we had a word three times in the same sentence. It was a run-on sentence and it, it, it featured the same word three times. And I just, that was a big no for me. Also, the amount of run-on sentences is, again, astronomical in what I've been reading so far. So my advice is just to get some beta readers to read your novel. Somebody who actually likes to read fantasy specifically. Too much exposition, of course. Um, info dumpy kind of things are just not my jam and it some of it may just have not been for me or targeted for me or just you know, I didn't jive with that kind of fantasy. I don't like classic fantasy, so some of books have like that feel of classic fantasy, and I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm not a huge fan of the tone of those novels. So sometimes it may have just been a thing where it just was not for me. The books that I have decided to purchase, mostly I think on Kindle, I may purchase some physically, but that's going to be Sealed Empire, Death's Disciple, and The Crew. Like I said, I loved all the books that I've mentioned, but these specifically, I really, really enjoyed and I've put them up higher on the TBR. That's going to be it for this week. Tune back in next week for some more Spiffbo reads.